Breaking news. Bandit kills 17 residents. Policeman in fresh attacks on Kaduna. Six people were reportedly killed at Ugwa Magaji, six in Kikuba, one in Kigama, and five in Kashu. <laughs> Hello, guys. You are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for this coming out here. I really do appreciate. At least 18 people, including a policeman, have been killed in attacks across five communities in Chua, Chivdom, in Karu, local government area of Kaduna State. According to Daily Trust, the affected villages are Kigum, Ki Koba, Tashu, and Ogwa Magaji. The resident of one of the affected communities said the attackers invaded their community, shooting at anything in sight. Six people were reportedly killed at Ugwan Magaji, six in Kiguba, one in Kigam, and five in Kashu. The invaders destroyed property worth millions of naira, including farmland in the affected areas, said the resident who preferred anonymity. The police public relations officer, Kaduna Command, S ASP Mohammed Jagi, did not pick cause on response to it or respond to a test sent to him at the time of filing these reports. <laughs> Oh my God, innocent people have died through banditry than the dreaded coronavirus. Our government speaks more about coronavirus than about this wicked terrorist. If we could not end terrorism in Nigeria, <laughs> how are we gonna how are we gonna how are we gonna live? How are we gonna do this thing? Because every day by day, innocent Nigerians are being killed by these bandits and it seems that our 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 leaders they don't know that we have a bigger problem but they prefer you know running after agitators honestly it's really very very painful because these people they are being that, that are being killed every day they are not animals human being like them you are in a position you cannot use it, you know, to do the needful. This is pure wickedness. Anyway, guys, let's uh, uh, hear what Nigerians have to say concerning this. Someone said, yeah, they arrested the hoodlums that burned down a police station in Imo State within 48 hours. I am waiting to see what will happen to these bandits within the next 70, 72 hours. The entire land of the rising sun will be going on a total lockdown every Monday, starting from 19th, 9th of August till Mazin Nandekano is released. They are really enjoying and loving the message of bandits. That is why they care less to send Super Taylor, <laughs> he's talking about Abakiri, you know, to those areas, but they prefer to send him down to the southeast. What is his fate now? He said. They, the federal government, will arrest them and release them with some cash. Nigeria Jagajaga Jaga, Fulani has ruined Nigeria beyond repair. In just six years, Fulani torch and scatter. Both educated and non educated people in the north seem to be the same. I don't know whether both love terrorism and they go scot free. Why all the Nigerian uniform from military to the last are parading the peaceful East Easterners and all that? Honestly, may God punish this Buhari led government. Somebody should tag that. All right, don't want to say that. Okay, someone said, then, hmm, if it happened to the Northeast, they will start to kill our youth and call them ESN or non gunmen. A non gunmen, sorry. You still call these people bandits? Ha! 
There is God though. Bandits and politicians, they are five and six. Police work is gradually becoming horrible. Are not gunmen everywhere? Honestly, this is terrible. Not will soon come for <laughs> not will soon come to the end of their region if they don't do the needful to stop all these killings every day by day. Bandits and Boko Haram every week. There is no day you will not hear all these people kill, kidnap. But Buhari is not doing anything about it. They prefer to run to Southeast, you know, to kill the innocent people over there. There is nothing breaking in this news. It is normal thing in the north. When they attack in the southeast, shortly they will attack in the north. Not in a slight killing competition. Have you ever heard them parade bandits? But in southeast, especially in Imo State, any criminal they catch, you'll be ESN member by fire by force. Kaduna have turned to Kaduna have turned to something else. Every day you hear story of killing and all that. I pity not in the next three years to come. You will not see any living things there again. I beg, what is my business? That suits them, right? Since they are enjoying the old stuff. Honestly, they are not complaining. So why are we bothered about their problem? This is very bad. The number of people being killed every day will be more than 50 daily. Haba, leaders, just wondering what the families are passing through now. Oh, Father, when this redeem is over, there will be a general thanksgiving service and certificate of survivor should be given to each family. Let's regard people's lives for just a day now. There is no hour in Nigeria someone will not die, he said. It's really very, very painful that Nigerians are going through this. So, guys, we've all heard it now. This is just happening now. Bandits. <laughs> Uh, it's no longer a shocking news again in the country because they key every minute here and only God will help us all. So guys, I'm dropping it here. I kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.